Namaste. Okay. So this is a channel message. I'm channeling that you have people shook. Okay. You have these people shook. They're afraid. The sun. I could be talking to a Leo. It's like you have people shook. You have people afraid of what your next move might be. What the next thing you might say. Right? You got people worried about how much they told you over time. All the dirt you have on them. It's like these people, because of that, it's like they could be trying to attack you. Storm warning. I can't make this shit up. I cannot make these fucking messages up. What the fuck? Storm fucking warning. So, yeah. It's like something is being... A storm is ahead. Period. But this is you. The sun. This is you, the sun. So I know for a fact that whatever is going on, okay, whatever problem that somebody is trying to create for someone, it's not happening. It's not going to work. So it's like these people will be trying to create problems, difficulties in your life. You know, these could be like karmic people in your life that um, are still afraid of what you know, what you could say, how you could expose them, all of these things. Probably things that they would do to you, right? Is what I'm getting. Yeah, action. Because it's like they're sitting in reverse. It's like these people are sitting back, not taking action on their life. I'm getting a lot of projection right now. Okay. Blossoming abundance. So it's like your life is headed to like riches, abundance. Okay. Money is flowing towards you easily, freely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Community. It's like people in a community. It's like it's a group of people that don't like you, and it's a group of people who do. And whatever, however way this works, contract, these people could work together, they could be family, friends to these people, whatever it is. There's also a group of people who actually like you. There's a group of people who may not. And then there's a group of people who do. So it's kind of like a split. I'm hearing that multiple people are actually taking your side in situations where maybe somebody came back and said something about you. And those people came to your defense. They came to your rescue, to your aid, to speak up highly on your behalf. And this has the other people that are in contracts with these other people in the community, right? It has these people rattled because normally they will always have their side. These people in the community, right? Their allies normally have their side and they're siding with you. What was seen to be an outsider, it's all because you're blossoming in abundance. The sun. You're shining. You're outshining them. That's what I'm hearing. You're outshining your competition. Patience. The thinking man. So you could be definitely planning on something in the future that's going to be extremely uh, lucrative or um, bring you a lot of abundance in another area. Um Maybe not money, but maybe love. Maybe um, something else. You know, wellness, right? Abundance of healing, you know, wellness, right? <laughs> so this could be abundance in many different forms, all right? But that is definitely blossoming for you. Tell me more here, Holy Spirit. 
yes, yeah, like these people in the community, it's like because they see you as a very intelligent person, a lot of these people they feel like you are the leader in thought. Like they have don't have original thoughts. So it's like you're the one that has the original thought. They come to you to get the original thoughts, to get the real, to get the T, to get the understanding of how things should be, right? You're the thinking man, the thinking woman, okay? <laughs> Just period, whoever you are out there, all right? Yeah, action. These people, again, in reverse, will not take action in their lives, okay? There's things that they feel like they want to take action on, but they can't. They're just sitting still. This has a lot to do with the fact that they aren't facing themselves. They would rather project. Indecision. I can't make this shit up. Some of these people want you to be indecisive or to think that, to doubt yourself. Okay? That's the thing. They want you to doubt yourself. Okay, happy family. And I feel like now family connections, relationships in your life are getting better. That's another thing. Like, even though everybody, you know, people are dealing with what they're dealing with, right? I feel like they're saying, you know, your family connections are getting a lot stronger, okay? Um, there is a lot of healing I'm seeing with this happy family card, right? Underneath this rainbow, you know? Your family, your loved ones, everybody's getting better, you know, walking towards healing, walking towards um, wellness for themselves, okay? And that's what they're talking about. That is the talk, why people are scared of you. Because you can be somebody who's spiritual and now people are looking like, hold on, wait a minute. Did she cast a spell on me? You know, because my life's not going good. Their life isn't going good, not because of you, but because of their own actions, right? That's what people do when they don't want to take accountability for their own lives, right? They project and then they say it's someone else's fault versus their own, right? So, yeah. Okay, they need to, these people need to forget, okay? What else is coming out here? But your family relationships are getting better. And that's the thing, too, that has people indecisive. They're looking at you. Your life is getting better. You're getting better. You're getting well. You're actually healing. Okay? And then it's actually a ripple effect. It's affecting your family. It's affecting your loved ones. And the people that... The small group of people that don't like you, right... They're indecisive because they don't know what they're doing in their life. It has nothing to do with you on some real shit. But they want to start trouble and problems because they see the abundance coming towards you. I promise you. I kid you not. The sun, abundance, hello. They see that. They feel that energetically coming towards you. What the fuck did they say? Soon, hello. They see, they feel that. They are threatened by this because it's like, well, why don't I get mine? And, you know, remember I said it's because they didn't do the work, right? <clears throat> yeah, message of warning. I can't make this shit up. Message of warning. Can you see it? Look at that. Message of warning. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. Storm warning. This is just a look. Secrets. These people are hiding behind your back. These people are acting as if they're still your friends. They're acting as if they're still your allies, as if they still like you. Okay. But they're waiting for something to pop off so that they can block your abundance somehow. Okay. Because you're too happy to them. You're too bubbly. You're too peaceful you're living in too high of a vibration okay <laughs> okay that's the facts let's 
see what else is coming out. Yeah, I don't mind my pocket. My my pants is unzipped. <laughs> I really outgrew these pants. I like these shorts. <laughs> it's like, okay, I said I really like these shorts. I outgrew these shorts. I really outgrew these shorts. You outgrew these people. You outgrew these people. Do you understand me? This is why these people are wanting to cause problems or to attack you or whatever it is. Hide some type of, hold some type of secrets over your head, whatever it is, right? Yeah. This is the energy of why. This is the reasoning behind why, okay? They're waiting on you to react on what they have done behind your back. You to take action on something they've done behind your back. But just remember, it's behind your back because they're always doing shit. What? Behind your back. It's never in your face, Collective, right? It's never in your face. It's always behind your back. It's always some sneaky, you know? They know better, you know? I heard you got the juice, okay? You got the juice, okay? You got the juice, the squeeze. Look at this, Lumerian seed codes. Embracing your sensitivity right now. Uniqueness, living with grace. You guys are too unique. You walk too unique of a path. Even when people try to mimic you or try to duplicate your flow, they can never. You're one of a kind. You're cut from a different cloth. You have to understand who you are. Just embrace your sensitivity and live with grace, okay? Despite what is going on, okay? And what interference they're trying to... Um, bring about because it won't uh it won't reach you all right cause of a minty initiation secrets reveal treasures uncovered in initiations this is a time right now in your life where you are being initiated Okay, this is a time where secrets, remember secrets? They said secrets. This card says secrets revealed too. So whatever the fuck they did in the dark, that's going to come to light as well. Okay, it's like your spirit guides are showing you more and more things that are happening in the dark, right? The more that you connect to your spirit, right? Through these halls of a minty initiation, okay? Your treasures as well. Meaning your what? Your abundance is being uncovered. Ways in how you will get closer to your abundance, okay? That is also part of the messages that are going to be coming out during your initiations, all right? <clears throat> so just embrace who you are, all right? You also have <clears throat> Stargate Heart. Your heart chakra is opening up and it's unlocking. So the generosity that you've always given to everyone about to cry, that you've, about to, that you've always given to everybody else is coming back to you tenfold, okay? So whoever you are, it's like, I know you've been a generous person. You've always wanted to just, you know, just bring sunshine, just bring happiness to people. And they've always turned their back towards you. You know, you've always gotten like, uh, what is call a short end of the stick, right? And your spirit needs you to know that through these initiations, okay, um, process, all right? We have seven planets right now in retrograde, okay? That's also affecting everything, okay? 
to do with you, right? So, and, but it's a beautiful thing, okay? I want you to think of retrograde as a positive thing, all right? Um, but yes, okay? So embrace this. Where you are, you're unlocking um, your earthly, your ethereal abundance, okay, um, energetically, all right? And that right there is something that these small groups in the community, um, they're unable to accomplish. There's, they've spent so much time wondering and watching you and creating uh, obstacles, secrets, lies, and bullshit, right, behind your name, right? They've spent so much time doing that. But they've wasted their time the years away. And now they're looking back at their lives like, damn, I could have been doing something with myself instead of focusing on somebody else, right? So now this is why they're attacking. This is why it's so heavy, the energy around you. Let's get one more card. Let's pull one more card, okay? they are going to start experiencing a lot of generosity, okay? So another message because you're so generous, all right? Be mindful what you're spending, okay? We got all these planets in retrograde, right? You know, so just, all right. Because it's going to be more than you've had in a while, you know, okay. Next, we have our sacred inner space, sacral chakra, okay. Tenderness and sensuality, okay. And that's going to be heavy for you, okay. You're going to be very sensitive in that area, your sacral chakra right now. Those of us getting this message, okay, because it's like you're unlocking something, okay, within you, creating a beautiful sacred inner space. You've been doing that and it's showing on the outside, the sacred space you have inside, okay. And that, my friends, is what people want a piece of because they know that there's a treasure within you. And they say, if you got it, I want a piece. But it's not something I can give to you. They have their own treasure, but they haven't ever taken the time to find that. See what I'm saying? So that's the difference between you and them, right? Yeah, we don't look the same, you know? We are not. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we're not twins we don't look alike all right <laughs> all right okay so that's enough of that let's get one of these surrender envy i can't make this shit up they got to surrender. You, you've you already surrendered. You've already surrendered to, to your higher self. You've already surrendered the, the need to control everything. You've done this spiritual work. And these people envy you for that shit. Didn't I just tell you that? This is this is what it's all about. Look, 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 look. look. This is because they're trapped by their own choices. That's why they're in envy. You understand me? This is why they can't. They are trapped. They can't find freedom because they spend so much time envying you instead of working on themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Imagination. These people lack imagination. You see what I'm saying? They don't even have a creative spark in them they look to you for inspiration they don't know what to do next you understand what i'm saying they're scared because they're like damn i don't even embrace the creative aspect of my mind they know that and you're full of that creativeness they want a part of that these people are, are walking around want you to doubt you know, yourself because they doubt themselves. They doubt where they're going. They doubt their own direction. Okay. They have no direction. These people lack direction. That's what makes them indecisive. And they want that energy to be yours. And they want to take yours. 
right? They want to flip-flop the energies. The fuck? Gratitude, okay? I feel like the fact that you're so thankful for your life, the fact that you're just so happy, like, enjoying every bit of what you're experiencing right now. It's like you're really literally like manifesting the life that you desire mentally. Um bit of advice. Get a vision board. Create one. Also, script. Write it out. What you want. Okay. <laughs> we got Neptune energy out here with imagination. Okay. Hello. Okay. Utilize that so that you can get more of what it is you want. All right. Gratitude. These people are, they don't know how to show gratitude. This is why they don't have anything. Because when you show the universe that you're not grateful for what you have, the universe takes it away. To give you an opportunity to appreciate what you lost. Facts. And they see you right now in so much abundance. They just want like that. But they need to do the work. These people are afraid. Didn't I tell you these people are afraid of you? Didn't I tell you? These? They are afraid of you. Who you are spiritually. Who you've cultivated yourself to become. Okay? You are their greatest threat. They never thought that you would become who you are. They never thought that you would be the best. That you would be the leader of the top dog. You know, not you, right? Top, you know, <laughs> owning, <laughs> owning, pull up on me. <laughs> All right, let's get to real messages. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> I get giggly when the messages start getting good. <laughs> Let's start with the jokes. With the jokey jokes. All right. What's coming out here? I think I got another tarot deck coming tomorrow. So y'all going to get a reading with that. I might even go live with that. These cards are so pretty. I might go live with them. What is the present situation? What is going on? Connect me to the message here in this present. Look at this. They're mad at the hard work that you have put in. You put in so much hard work. It make these people look like you've been sitting here all this time playing in their face. That's how they feel. Like you've been playing in their face. And really, you feel the same way. Like they've been playing in your face because they could do the work, right? You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you over here working tediously at at this this thing called wellness, okay? This thing called healing, okay? And it looks good on you, okay? Your life is changing and it's blossoming in abundance in many different ways, okay? And all they have is their secrets, the bullshit that they want to keep. That negative energy that nobody wants, not even them, Right? You're so unique, not trying to be like none of these people. All these people, when they get dressed up, they dress the same way. All these people, when they do their thing, they all look the same, right? They all want to be in the same. You're so unique. You see what I'm saying? And they see you stepping like that, you know? You're, you're a big dog. You're a trendsetter. People want to be like that. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're living with grace right now and you're clearing out some of these people who you had in your heart chakra, who you had in your sacred space. You know, you're clearing that energy out to make room for new energy, you know, and you're thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents and nobody can not take that away from you. Just period, queen of pentacles. So whatever sort of influence that they might have had in the past, to try to block some abundance in your life, it's never going to work. Just period. Whatever thought they had that they were going to, it's never going to work. Oh! <laughs> Not going to work. 
<laughs> but I can't make this shit up. The Empress, hello. Didn't I say it's not gonna fucking work? Hello. What? You're so abundant. You're so creative. You're so unique. These people want a piece of that. They want to sabotage you, okay? And what you're doing. You're going to set yourself apart in something that you're creating. Some of you guys, this is online. Some of you guys, this is like creating like something to do in the techno world, technology world, right? Um, It's going to make you some money. Some of you guys are going to actually do me a hand in that because some of you guys don't really fuck with this digital, all this shit. And, you know, bless. But I think you're going to actually take a stab at that. And it's going to bring you more abundance, actually. Because doing that is going to be you going in your North Node. And whenever you go in your North Node, there's always abundance waiting. <laughs> you know? Because you challenge yourself. And when you challenge yourself, self always is full of rewards. The universe is always full of rewards. Like, constantly. You know what I'm saying? No matter what spectrum that the rewards come in, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No matter what what end of the spectrum that the rewards come in, you know, the universe is constantly supplying us, you know. Um, so just know that you're, you're right now, whatever these creative thoughts are, whatever the creative ideas, don't be indecisive. Do it. You're indecisive because you're sitting on ideas that God has given you, you know. And I'm not talking about the God in the sky or in some fairy tale made up land. I'm talking about the God in you, right? They're your thoughts. Hello. Peace, God. You know, so let me get another one. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, okay? You're going to be successful, whatever this is. All you got is Pentacles and Empress out here. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what they was trying to do. You might have was new at it, whatever you did in the past. But right now, you're a professional now. You're at professional level. You're ready to do something now at professional level. Your community now is growing. Your audience is growing. Whatever it is that you do, okay? And you have the support of the entire universe because of that, okay? Because believe it or not, with that small percentage of the ones who don't want to see you win, there's an even bigger and even greater percentage of people who want to see you win, who want to see you successful. Okay. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. So take take a risk, okay? Don't be afraid to take a risk towards what you're thinking, okay? If you don't, you'll I feel like you'll live to regret it. You'll always wonder, like, damn, well, what if I would have did that thing? Okay, so don't sit on the idea. Go for it, okay? This is a time to what? What did they say? Take action on something, all right? Go for it. Hello. Yeah, I hear Hamza. Yeah, I hear Hamza. Confirming it. He came in here to tell y'all that. <laughs> I can't make this shit up for y'all. If I fucking tried, okay? The fuck? Let me sip some wine. Commercial break. So take a risk. You have nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Some of you guys, like I said, this might even be with love. You're releasing a karmic uh, from your, your essence, okay? From your energy, all right? You're releasing that person, okay? And now true love is here, okay? So take a fucking, take a chance, all right? On you. Bet on you. The fuck? I love y'all. For real, shit. 
Two of motherfucking cups. What is the two of cups? What's the two of cups? Ooh. Ooh. Somebody going to be taking their time here in this connection when it does come. Somebody's going to be taking their time. Oh, shit. Somebody wants to romance somebody. Somebody, like, really is studying. Somebody, like, to really get to know you in this connection. This is somebody that's going to be way more invested into getting to know who you are, your likes, your dislikes, really uh, wanting to know who you are, who the person that they're going to be with. Like, they're invested in that, you know, truly. And not from a... a egotistical or self um, gaining, you know, just to get what they can get out of it type of thing, but actually to learn you actually so that they can have like a healthy relationship with you. Like this is somebody who is emotionally as well as intellectually, you know, stimulating. Okay. Who will definitely, um, he said, rock the boat. <laughs> Please, angels. Oh, my God. Somebody wants to rock the boat. Like, somebody wants to, like, mess up what you have. I know that. It's here. Storm warning and all this stuff like that. But don't let that shit get to you because it's you're going to feel it in different ways. It's not going to be like. Oh, just one day, you know, you're going to feel in a multitude of ways. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel it like through the, the weirdest type of exchanges. People Sometimes people that you, you like in your head after you do them, like, did I know them or something? Because that was weird. You know, shit like that. Right. Um, yeah. You know, anyways, back to the love connection, the love connection. I really see that actually when, you know, these soulmates get together. This is really going to be like a true romance. Like something like in a, out of a fairy tale or some type of shit. That ass. You know, that's what I'm really getting. Let's talk about the fool. What is the fool? What is the fool? What is the risk you will take? Okay, so some of you guys... You, uh, they're saying like you've been studying long enough. Is They're like, go after something. They're like, don't wait. You know? Some of you guys, like, you, you're full of ideas. You're full of knowledge. You're full of this information. It's time that you expand yourself. This community card means so many different things, so many different levels, and it's all to do with your abundance, all right? Because that's yours. It's your divine birthright, but somehow we lose sight of that, right, sometimes, right? And so now you consciously become aware, right? You, you you become aware that that's yours and how to claim that, right? So that's here for you, you know? So take this risk. Don't be afraid, you know? The most high is supporting you, all right? God is supporting you. The God within you is supporting you, all right? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles? What is it? 3344. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, so some of you guys, you got a, um, an opportunity in the future. There's that Three of Cups energy with the community card. So community keeps coming out. I'm telling you, some of you guys, you got a huge opportunity that's going to be coming towards you in the future. But you've got to know that this is what you want. If you don't know that this is what you want, then it's not it. You got to know that. Because I feel like you could be getting to this place where you've gotten like really comfortable, you know, because something didn't happen as quickly, as soon as you wanted it to, right? And there's that energy you got to deal with, all right? Because now is the time that your hard work starts to pay off, right? And oftentimes, right before your hard work pays off, it looks like it ain't shit happening. And then that's the time in between where people either give up or push harder. So that's, you got to choose which one are you, which one are you going to do, Empress? Because 
you know, this abundance is here for you, you know. They're telling me you're so unique. You have a unique way of doing something. You're not doing it how anyone else can do it, just period. And because of that, that's where your abundance is, all right? So embrace your uniqueness, all right? It's a strength. It's a superpower. I can't make this shit up, all right? It is a fucking superpower because you're teaching whatever you're doing. You're going to be teaching others how to elevate, how to make themselves better people. Even if it's just through living your life that way. See what I'm saying? Every vibration matters in the universe. You see what I'm saying? That's why we're all master teachers. It's the facts. All right? Yeah, the hermit. All right? You're teaching people how to vibe high, how to learn themselves, how to take action in their lives and no longer sit back and be a pawn, but to become... The queen, the king of their universe, right? The god of their universe, right? And that is something, honestly, and what is your purpose is what is your calling, all right? Truly for you, all right? So I need you to understand that. Your community is now growing. You have an opportunity. Go after it, all right? Chase your dreams. Real shit. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me what that Eight of Pentacles is. We got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you. Look, your hard work is taking off. So is about to pay off so fucking quick. I'm telling you. Didn't they say soon? Look at that Knight of fucking pen, a Knight of Swords. Come on. Didn't they say soon? Hello. Security. All right. Stability. All right. You're gonna have to worry about that no more. Cause your hard work is not paying off. All right. Look at that. Nine of Swords in fucking reverse. I just showed you it not in reverse. It was in reverse, but. Okay, nine of swords in reverse, all right? Coming out of that trapped energy. I told you, somebody, you felt stuck, you know? Not just them, but it was like them, they wanted you to feel stuck too, you know? And a part of that was you just not going in your north, you know? Remember, they're afraid of you because the more that you elevate, it forces the rest of the world to have to push them in that direction as well. And so that means that them too, even the ones that can't stand you, they have they are forced to elevate, right? And it's uncomfortable. It's extreme because you you know, because you're doing the work, right? But it's worth it. It's so fucking worth it. I've never found anything more worth it in my life. All right. So that's what I'm getting for the reading. I love you guys. Bye.